Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we will be talking about new tank syndrome. Now you don't necessarily have to have a new tank for this syndrome to occur. And what exactly it is, is a phenomenon where your biologic filters that are responsible for converting your fish waste of ammonia into nitrite and nitrate have not been established. Now, there's really no quick way to bring your tank from uncycled to fully cycled unless you're willing to wait a couple weeks. Now, I know there's many over-the-counter products that say instant bacterial starter, like you can throw all your fish in right away, but unfortunately, this is not the case. So, Way back in the day, it used to be two particular genuses of bacteria known as Nitrosomus and Nitrobacter that were thought to be the only players in this nitrogen cycle. When new research has found that it's really not, it's many, many different bacterial species, and what you have in your tank is not necessarily going to be the same as in what's in someone else's tank. So, unfortunately, all those over the counter products are usually only one species. And provided that anything is alive in the container when you purchase it, it probably won't be sticking around for the long term. So, what are you supposed to do? Well, unfortunately, the only thing that you can do is wait. And in order to properly establish your biologic filters, you will need to have ammonia coming into your tank. Now, you can do a fishless cycle provided that you time it exactly right for when your fish arrive. And essentially, this is adding bacteria and ammonia, pretty much straight ammonia, to your tank and having it cycle without any fish in the system. Now, it's a lot easier for a lot of people if you start with just a very low bio load. So what this means is, if you have a tank that's gonna have X number of fish, maybe start with 10% to 20% of that total fish volume and allow them to be in the tank Keep a really close eye on your ammonia, nitrite, and nitrite levels. Except to see spikes as those bacterial column, uh, colonies are created. And then slowly add more fish after your tank has been properly cycled. Now, you can also accidentally do this when you replace your filter media. So if you haven't watched our video on how to clean your filters, again, I know it says on the box from the filter companies that you replace those every month, but in doing so, you're kicking your tank into a new tank syndrome automatically. So a lot of people sometimes will see their ammonia start to go up, freak out, add an ammonia neutralizer or binder, and send their tank back down to low levels. Now, in doing so, you've essentially delayed that sequence from taking place. So what's more important is you watch your fish and always start with the hardiest fish species. And you are gonna have a little bit of ammonia, Again, it could creep up a little high. You don't want to bind it up though, or else you're never going to cycle through. And then you'll see your nitrite spike, and again, your nitrate full conversion. And this process, depending on your temperature, could take anywhere from four to six weeks. And again, those bacterial products that you see on the store shelves, our office was able to test several of those, and there was one that's pretty much manufactured by a microbiologist that was actually able to shorten the cycle. And that's not do instantly, it's to shorten. So the best thing that you can do is keep an eye on your parameters using a liquid-based test kit and keep a really close eye on your fish. And if say the levels are up to too high and your fish are starting to show clinical signs of ammonia or nitrite poisoning, it's time to do a partial water change. And that's really the best thing that you can do going forward and never replace your filters, again, until they're about to fall apart. If you have any questions on that, we have a filter cleaning video that'll be great for you guys to check out along with this. So that's really all that we have today on new tank syndrome. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned a little something. If you have any more questions about fish and fish health, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.